As Merrimack grows in population, so does the responsibility of serving and protecting those residents. It's not just the police department keeping a watchful eye on our community, though, but a devoted group of neighbors known as Merrimack Crime Line. However, this organization is in need of more dedicated volunteers. Crime Line and the Merrimack Police Department are hoping you will consider joining the group. Community Resources Officer Bill Vanderside tells us more about Crime Line. Crime Line is a support group for the police department here in Merrimack and they are our hands down our biggest supporters. Uh, they fundraise for us all year long with all the different town events that we have and they've just reached out and, and supported us financially and not financially um, for years. It's really people looking out for people or neighbors looking out for neighbors. Merrimack Crime Line has been an active part of our community for over 25 years, taking part in events with the goal of connecting our community to the police department in a more positive way. One such event is National Night Out, where we caught up with Crime Line member Steve Jobin. He tells us more about what the Crime Line organization has to offer the community. We're an organization of community residents just like yourself, interested in helping the police department. Uh, primarily we do that through uh, community awareness, neighborhood watch programs. Uh, we hold a golf tournament every year where we raise funds. We have uh, three scholarships currently active with the high school for, uh, for aspiring uh, individuals that want to go into some type of public service uh, category, you know, in colleges. And uh, uh, we, we support uh, functions such as this, National Night Out, just by volunteering our time, and we'd uh, love to have you join us. Merrimack Crime Line's annual golf tournament has historically been a well-attended event, and for good reason. But local golfer Dan explains that he didn't attend the tournament just to show off his backswing or for a chance at any of the awards, but to also get to know those hosting it. I didn't know much about the Crime Line, and that was another reason that I wanted to come find out as much as I could about what good it's it's supposed to do in the uh, community, which just makes you feel more secure having um, the neighbors that you live with um, all being on the lookout for each other. The whole community be benefits. The community benefits in more ways than one, not only through the funds raised for the police department or for high school scholarships, but they also work with individuals and groups within our community to identify areas of improvement. This is done thanks to the resources they offer, such as the anonymous tip line, the neighborhood watch program, or their monthly meetings. Former police chief Mark Doyle explains more. The crime line folks recognized, I think, the advantages associated with making sure that that continues. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do that is to have people who the police department serve actually work with the police department to identify areas of improvement and do a better job in serving them and keep them up to date on what it is that the residents need from their police department on an ongoing basis. Nikki McNulty has grown up with Merrimack Crime Line, her father being a member since its early years. It was kind of cool growing up, you know, our friends thought it was really cool. They actually thought my father had a red bat phone in the basement that crimes were called into. That was kind of a, a standing joke. She explains the value in having a trusted group like this in town. I think having the same familiar faces over the years has given a sense of trust and comfort in knowing who the faces of the crime line are. Just knowing that there's somewhere that you can call anonymously and that someone will call you back, that there is someone to talk to and that they are residents. They're not part of the police department. They are volunteers. They give of themselves and their time out of their desire to do that. And I think that that just relates to the community that people care and people want to be there and people want to help. It's a, a great group and quite honestly, they need some, some fresh, fresh volunteers. So putting that out there to the community that the Merrimack Crime Line could use some some more volunteers. If you would like to become involved, contact the Merrimack Crime Line today. Call 603-424-2424. Thank you for watching.